Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play SimCity. So, in the last episode, we spent a lot of money. Most notably here, in this corner, we have built a sewage treatment plant. Which really, really helps us out in terms of the waste disposal here. Because we have been relying on these two tiny buildings, sewage outflow pipes, for quite a bit of time here. And we kept running out, so we built the big boy right here, sewage treatment plant. And now our sewage treatment problems are no more. So that's very good. And a neat side effect here is that we will be increasing the water here in this area. Let's see. Hopefully this is all going to be deep blue here over time. And the more sewage we treat, the more water is going to flow into this area. And we also built a water pumping station right here. So all that water that we're dumping in here, we're going to reuse as our water supply. So that's really a win-win here. But it was very costly building these two buildings here. Let's see. How much money did we spend? So 44000 on a water pumping station. And 64. So yeah, that's 100. Close to 110000 here. 108 to be exact, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, that was a lot of money. But this iron ore mine, as well as this trading post, have been financing a lot of our needs here. So that is very good. We also upgraded a lot of these roads here. And these industrial buildings here are starting to become larger and larger. Now that we have upgraded to... What kind of road is this? Let's check it out. Medium density road, yeah, and we can even increase it to high density roads here. Should they want to increase even more, we can make them upgrade by just upgrading the roads here. That's going to be very good. We're still having health issues right here. Hopefully over time that's going to solve itself. And the classrooms again are full. Yeah, we have 688 students enrolled here, so that is really something. We need a Department of Education here, quickly, very quickly, preferably this university here, but we're going to need 1,200 students to make that happen, and we need a Department of Education. So my thinking is that we're going to want to upgrade the next one towards education here, or we're going to need a lot more residents to make that happen. That's going to be fine though. Speed up the clock just a little bit. We are still picking up all the garbage cans. Yeah, and it's a lot less than the last time we checked. That party really, really caused a lot of trash. But we got paid for it, so that's okay. We have our ambulance picking up someone. What did it say about the density? Upgrade roads. Yeah, I think it's about time we do that. We upgraded in the previous episode, but they're going to need one more. Go from low density to medium density. Let's do it. We have the money. This one is already medium density, so let's start here. This might cost us a whole lot of money too, but it's going to pay for itself in no time here. There we go. They're already starting to upgrade. That went very quickly. Oh yeah, we're burning through our money. Let's upgrade all of them. Hopefully I won't forget any roads here. Yeah, that one's good medium density A little piece right there let's not forget that one and I'm thinking this is going to be the last yeah a lot of upgrading really a lot of upgrading here yeah looks good all right, we still have 30,000 here. Low wealth residential growing to medium density. 
Your city is growing fast. Keeping your residents happy will cause larger low wealth houses to grow. And it turned into a worker shortage. Yeah, but we're upgrading here. Hopefully after the upgrades, these are all going to be fine. No electricity problems as of yet. That's good news. We have a lot of water in excess. Let's see here. Let's turn a few of these off. Let's see if that's going to cause any water problems here. We don't need to be paying maintenance if we don't need it. That water pumping station right there. 56.7. Alright, that's fine. Okay, but we do, hopefully, need some more water here. Because if we're going to upgrade, I'd like to upgrade it on top of that water source right there. So we might even want to get more upgrades into the sewage treatment plant first. Oh wow, we have a lot of commercial demand. Oh wow, that's a lot. That's, that's a ton. All right, it's going to be low wealth. Mm. Yeah, we can do it here. Let's see how that works out. And if need be, we'll grab a little bit more. Maybe reassign some plots. Still a lot of things on the construction. That might also be uh, causing that. not indefinitely sprawl across the region. We need to build up that out. Vision, if you will. A future where sims live in massive multi-story towers called mega towers. Everything a sim needs would be available in the same building. Let's make this vision for the future a reality now. Let's build a mega tower. Well, let's ask later. I definitely want some mega towers. I'm just not sure if we want to have it in this city. This is just a very standard issue. Right? Yeah, the commercial demand is going down. Let's hope we can get out of that situation once all these plots have been developed. <clears throat> Excuse me? Alright, oh, we're making so much money. We can build the metals HQ. Or we could go for a coal mine or another old ore mine here. That might be nice. Maybe here? Ooh, that's actually a good question. I wish this road wasn't in the way. Hmm. It's going to be very difficult to get this one. Well, let's build it anyway. Let's try to get all the ore out of the ground here. So let's build one more right here. Now that we have all this money, might as well have that money work for us, rather than the other way around. Really get all the... Oh, we're out of money. <laughs> all right. That was a little bit of a ambitious talk right there. Right. Hopefully it's not going to take too long for us to uh, make that money. 2,200. That's still quite good. Let's wait for a little bit more money here. I don't want to be risking too much when it comes to our money. We can still take out a loan, but preferably not. Yeah, let's get one right here. And let's see if our trade depot can keep up with selling all that ore. Because we've basically doubled all the ore that's coming in right now. And we have some problems. Worker shortage. Yeah, we need to have more people in here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, a lot of our buildings have upgraded here. That is great. 
yeah, we're starting to get into medium density here. That looks great. A lot more people are going to be living in here. And we have our first high wealth residential demand, which is nice because we were looking for that. That is great news. So what do we want to do here? We could add some residential demand here. Just extend these huge blocks of avenues. Or we could go into even more mining here. Yep, both of them are still set to export here. Mm. Do we need more trade depots? Or at least add a few trucks here. So far it seems like no. We're able to get all of that sold quite easily. And I'm thinking we just about reached the max right here. How much is this? 301. Alright, let's max this one out too. So yeah, let's wait for a little bit more money to come in here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, a lot of happiness spread across the town here. Government, we have our mayor's house. Finally reached 11,000 citizens. 12,000. And we needed 10,000. Yeah, we're getting close to this uh, next town hall upgrade. That's going to be crucial. We're still picking up the garbage cans. That looks good. No fires. Do we have any rubble? No. No rubble, no abandoned buildings. One death per day, but it seems that's green, so that's good. No crimes. Yeah, school. We need to get a department of education very quickly. Should we add one more iron ore? 37,000. Might also want to get rid of this one. Well, we might be able to do two at the same time. Maybe like so. Let's see if that's... Uh the right angle here. Yeah, that looks good. Like so. Is there any ore here? Or coal? I don't think so, right? No, which means we can comfortably expand in this area also. There we go. Searching for the internet. <laughs> Searching the internet for what to do when there's a fire. Hmm. Slow today. <laughs> Alright. Cool. So let's look to really go crazy on the land value here. Let's get high wealth in there as soon as we can. Hmm. Yeah, let's do plaza or formal. Both are very high wealth. Let's do formal. Millennium Plaza. That looks good. Oh, that looks awesome. Costs us 480 an hour. What does it do? Housing an indoor tropical aquarium. The interior of this park allows visitors to view a thriving underwater ecosystem with a modern city setting. Landscaping innovation allows visitors to also enjoy the bright and airy park environs on the exterior of this building. Futurizes nearby houses, shops or factories. That sounds promising. It's very expensive though. I've never tried it. 
Let's try one out. Why not? Boom. Right there. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, land value increase right there. Good. Very good. Medium. Large urban. Is this one expensive? 240. Yeah, that's quite expensive. Urban green space. Large fountain parks. Yeah, let's make this entire block high wealth here. Let's put also 240 an hour. How much is this? 40. But it's tiny. Let's do this one. It's gonna cost us a lot of money. Let's do one block at a time. Let's not overdo it. Maybe something like that? Oh yeah, that affected a lot. Alright, that should do it. Let's keep it at two parks here. Oh, that immediately upgraded. That's what we like to see. And let's make this entire block all high wealth here. So hopefully we can get five high wealth houses and ten high wealth workers. Wow, look at this. Oh, we can even add stuff to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, fence. We can do that later. Should we feel the need to? Any issues? Aside from us having 109,000. Oh, that went very quickly. 5,000. Good stuff. Very good. Oh, yeah. Our electricity is starting to hit its peak here. We're getting closer to it. Water is still okay. Not too great, though. Not too great. We might want to temporarily add a few houses here. Or, excuse me, put a few of these water towers in operation here. Because we might not have enough groundwater here to pump up. We really need to be treating more sewage here. But that's going to work itself out. 42... We could add one right now. It's going to cost us 40,000. Oh, that fits in there beautifully. Yeah, let's just add it. Hopefully that's going to result in even more water treatment. Won't be able to see it just yet. But I think so far we're looking good here. We still have a lot of medium wealth residential demand. And high residential demand. Still, yeah, somewhat. But I think it might be time to increase a little bit. Maybe get one more park somewhere around here. So we can have a little bit more medium density. Or excuse me, medium wealth. We still have a lot of things to upgrade here. Let's leave it be for now. We can build parks whenever we want. Yeah, let's hope that that's uh, gonna be good. Closing in, in towards our next upgrade. Still picking up everything. Yeah, this is looking fine here. We are now considered a small city. To be considered as a suburban city, we would need at least 15,000. Oh, we might as well get paid for it. 15,000. Yeah, we're closing in on that. Hmm. Okay, let's do something like this. 
just in this row a little bit further. Not too much, though. These are all maxed out, so we're not going to need anything more to these buildings. But we are in need of some commercial. Mostly medium wealth. A little bit of low wealth here. And yeah, I think if we do it here, that's going to be a nice mix. Maybe something like that. And maybe over time, increase our residential and fill up the rest of this block right there. These are all going to be high-rise commercial buildings. Assuming our people are happy, the density is still somewhat good, but hopefully that's going to increase over time. All right. Yeah, so far so good, I would say. No crazy congestion, although the time is uh, a little bit weird there. A few more homes right there. Maybe a little bit right there also. Let's get as many people in as we can. Yeah, let's save some money here. We're going to need more for this coal power plant. Might as well destroy these buildings. We're not going to need them. No more outflow pipes. And let's see how much ground pollution they have caused here. Because that's... Uh... Yeah, that's definitely something here. So let's try to get rid of that ground pollution here. And we can do that by planting some trees. So let's go to the parks right here. And if we go nature, scroll down the list, we can plant a forest here. Let's do that with the above ground view. Yeah, that's going to make it a lot nicer here. Let's also surround this power plant. Maybe get some trees into the industrial area also. Because these are also quite serious polluters. And these trees are going to help out a whole lot here. And since we have the money, might as well do it. It's also going to make our city a lot more beautiful here. Let's do the same here. We have 150,000 to spend. Maybe in between these blocks also. Eventually, these trees are going to be replaced by all high rises, but for the time being, we might as well enjoy. And I think with all this money here, we might want to go crazy on the mining here. The sooner we get that money, the sooner we can get it to work for us. Yeah, that's okay. Let's fill this one. All the way. Trees are good. Nature is beautiful. Lots of trees here. Alrighty. Surround our town hall. Maybe close off a little bit of silliness here. Yeah, looking good. Alright. So let's do a few more checks here. Oh yeah, it's going to be difficult to get to here. That's a lot of congestion right there. We'll look at it later. Still have some medium density. But we are seeing some upgrades here. So let's have these upgrades happen before we build any additional housing. Because we're set up for the future in terms of upgrades, so that's nice. Still some water. Plenty of sewage treatment. No worries on that account. Yeah, that's looking good. Are they still picking up? Seems like they are. That's fine. Fires are good. Health too. Police also. 
Yeah, we still need that Department of Education. And we have some congestion. That's going to work itself out. Hopefully. But now that we have all this money here, I think it might be time that we go crazy on the mining here. Where's that coal? That coal is going to be right there. Right in the sweet spot. That is not so good. Okay. Let's at least build one more right here. Storage full. Okay. I think this might be everything here. We can still upgrade a little bit more. Well, 308 is fine. Yeah, let's build one more. Give it a sign, of course. And we might want to start giving all these buildings one more truck. Maybe even two. Let's see, what do they do? Or delivery truck. When you've got more... What? When you've got more ore than you know what to do with, get another ore delivery truck. Get that ore out to trade depots, trade ports, and industry faster and make money faster. All right, but I'm thinking this is going to be an issue, right? Yeah, our storage is full. All right, so let's see, what can we do here? We can add a freight truck garage. Time to get that convoy moving, add a freight truck garage to increase the rate at which you can send resources from the trade depot to manufacturers and consumers in your city. Import export deliveries. Yeah, so it's going to be both, right? So let's add one more truck. Maybe even two more trucks here. Because we are looking to expand on our ore production. And let's give it. Is this ore? Yes, it's raw ore. That's good. That's going to increase all the things here. And let's give each one of these at least one more truck. There. Let's do the same here. One truck. And let's give you a second truck also. This is going to increase the work at the trade depot by a whole lot here. Alright, let's see. We can also do coal. How are we going to do this, actually? Let's see. Cool map. We could do something a little wonky with the roads here. something like this right there then try to get rid of this road right here hopefully it's not gonna cause any problems but it seems like no or mine close now hiring that's fine so let's get rid of that and now we have plenty of space here let's move these roads too let's keep the view now we can still have a worker shortage, all right? <laughs> Might not be the best time to add another coal mine, but let's do it anyway. All right. Let's put a sign on top of that thing. Three fifty-nine. Maybe something like this. 350. That's crazy. Awesome. Give it another truck. And now that we are also mining coal, let's add another truck as well as a coal storage lot right there. And let's manage global market deliveries. And let's set that coal to be exported too. 
That's gonna give us 6,000. Seems like the ore is a little bit more profitable. Alright. We still have 80. Almost 90,000 left. And now we do officially have 90,000. Let's see, do we need some money? Oh yeah, we are running out of electricity. So instead of expanding on our mining here, let's make sure that we have enough electricity. Didn't we put a sign on this? Seems like we didn't. So we can get a dirty coal generator. That's going to give us 75 megawatts. Costs 5,000 and 425 an hour. And we could do an advanced coal. So it's going to cost us more to purchase. But it's less costly per hour. I like that. But it's going to burn through a lot more coal. Air pollution still going to be medium. That's good. What should we do? Yeah, let's try to go for the advanced coal generation here. Why not? Fewer pollution, less pollution is going to be better. Eventually, I want to get towards this nuclear power plant here. Assuming our people are properly educated because you do need educated people to work there water is also an issue so let's have these ones work 32 is the water improving here yes somewhat but nothing uh, nothing too crazy can we add one right here we can but it's going to be not so good at producing but let's do it anyway. For one, we have the money. And two, we need the water. Yeah, that bumped us up to 103. That is going to be fine. You're still producing plenty. We're just about to upgrade. Very close. Very, very close. Garbage is good. There's a fire in the city. Right in front, right there. We're doing good. So yeah, we basically doubled our mining here. That is insane. We have 15,000 residents. That's great. Plenty of room for coal. Raw ore seems to be doing good. Made another 15,000 simoleons. And we can upgrade our city hall. That is great news. Awesome. But it seems as though we're out of time for this episode. So we'll pick it up in the next one. And I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully see you in the next episode too. Thanks everyone.